Hello and Happy New Year everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. It's a very cold day as you can see. And uh, yeah, I'm here on a site that I always wanted to detect. Um, it's a pasture area as you can see. But I think uh, it might be uh, barren here <laughs> in terms of finds. I'm checking uh, these little mole hills here. Uh, because um, I wanted uh, to see whether shards um, are being broke to the surface um, but uh, yeah it's not the case so uh, it's not a very good sign to be honest um, of course I will check with the detector but uh, um, the little earth hills here tell me that um, yeah finds uh, might sink down in unreachable depth here. Uh, there's a little stream behind me um, so it's uh, the same as with my uh, paradise site um, but I haven't uh, another site to go at the moment uh, so it's an act of uh, desperation <laughs> but uh, yeah we will see. Um, I'll uh, unwrap my things and then I'll be back when I got my first finds. Seventy-two, eighty. Yeah, first nice signal. I assume it's a bottle cap, <laughs> but uh, I should try not to think too negative all the time. <laughs> Still in the hole, which is nice. in my hands. Oh. Okay. <laughs> wow. I really, really, really didn't expect this. Uh, it's a slotted uh, concho. Um, we call it Schlitzrose in German. It's um, a very beautiful kind of buckle. Um, this seems to be quite old. I assume late medieval. Oh, great. Oh, what a relief. There are old finds here. Um, yeah, you see, I shouldn't think too negative all the time. It gave a bottle cap signal, but actually it's something beautiful. My next find is promising as well. It's an old uh, button, uh, complete with shank, and uh, it wasn't uh, very deep, which is uh, yeah, very nice. Um, so um, the finds doesn't sink as deep as I thought uh, they would. Um, this field uh, got the potential for 
a nice find, I would say. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'm right, we will see. What a humongous iron ring. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of activity on this field. Uh, I get a lot of iron signals here. Uh, most of them of a size um, that I ignore, but uh, you can't <laughs> ignore an iron ring, believe me. I dug an amazingly deep hole uh, for this um, forged nail here. Um, it's an old one and uh, yeah it slipped through the discrimination um, but I'm glad because uh, it's another clue that uh, this site uh, is old. Uh, <laughs> Can't wait to find my first coin. Hopefully it happens today. <laughs> Almost too loud, <laughs> but uh, uh, this site surprised me before, so let's give it a go. in the lamp. Need to change the batteries of my pinpointer. Ah, oh, here we have it. Yeah. Well, the little thrilling moment <laughs> because I only saw green roundness but it's uh, the primer of a shotgun cartridge. I was digging <laughs> for this uh, little washer here when I came up with this beautiful piece of uh, china. Yeah, it's uh, amazing to find something uh, yeah, beautiful like this uh, in the middle of the countryside here. All I can come up with is uh, uh, that this was used as a picnic area here and uh, maybe they smashed uh, yeah, a beautiful little plate. I don't know. Um, of course there could be many many other reasons for it but uh, yeah it's a it's an old piece of uh, porcelain. Uh, beautiful. Yeah uh, 
I'm still looking for my first coin, but um, I think I have to hang in there and uh, be patient. Uh, there got to be a coin somewhere here. Uh, maybe I will find it today, <laughs> hopefully. I found an old pistol ball. Um, it's too small for a musket. Um, uh, this should be from a pistol. It's hard to say how old it is, but uh, I would guess it's like uh, from the 1700s up to the mid 1800s, something like that. Um, yeah, we had a lot of uh, Napoleonic battles in the uh, surrounding areas here and uh, uh, most likely um, these uh, ordnance and uh, ammunition finds are from this period um, when they are like um, musket or pistol, pistol balls of course um, I find uh, traces from World War One and World War Two as well um, yeah but uh, this uh, find doesn't wander me. <laughs> My next find is a peculiar relic <laughs> yeah i mean it uh, should have something to do with uh, horse bridle horse harnesses uh, something like that um yeah it seem seems to be quite obvious uh, but um yeah I, I i never found something like that before so i can tell you what exactly it is yeah but uh, i think it's uh, quite old as well according to the patina yeah. Oh, it's so cold you you won't believe. It's minus five degrees or something. Oh, I have to move on, otherwise I freeze on this spot here. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful, delicate little button? What a beautiful little thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a shield boss button. Um, I think it should be from the 1700s, early 1800s maybe. Oh, what a... What a beautiful thing, um, totally unexpected because uh, it was quite shallow. Yeah, I don't get this side here, it's uh, such a juicy meadow and uh, the stream behind me floods over, um, yeah, uh, as well. But um, even though uh, finds are quite shallow here, uh, I will definitely uh, give this area here a proper go. There's a pass uh, over there as well. I will give this a try as well. So um, totally <laughs> yeah, underestimated the site. <laughs> uh, great. Um, the only thing that's missing is a coin, but um, I think uh, it won't take a long time until I come up with my first coin from the site.
Oh guys, it's so cold today. I can't describe it to you. Uh, my lips, I can't even talk properly. My fingers are frozen. And now the sun is setting and it gets even colder. So I will call it a day. I think uh, the roundup was quite sparse. <laughs> Uh, not much in the way of finds, but the finds I made uh, were quite promising. Uh, human activity has taken place here and uh, it's only about time that I come up with a coin here. I will return here. This is the only place to go at the moment for me, as I told you in the beginning. But um, yeah, it's quite promising and I like uh, this uh, spot here. It's a beautiful valley, uh, calm and just what I need uh, yeah, at the moment. I hope you'll see it the same way and I hope you will join me on my next trip too. By then I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen.